Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk a little bit more about New York, the mayor, and the fallout from the developments. Just a quick note before we move on, thank you for all of your messages of support. We're more or less good. All people and animals are good. As we get a little more information about various areas, we'll try to start providing more information about ways to help. Okay, now back to New York. The mayor up there, Eric Adams, has been officially indicted on five counts. He has entered a plea of not guilty. The counts center on allegations that he accepted things of value, including illegal campaign contributions from foreign business owners. Looks like the charges are bribery, wire fraud, conspiracy, and soliciting campaign contributions from foreign nationals. Adams has denied all wrongdoing and vows to fight the charges. He said, quote, I look forward to defending myself and defending the people of this city, as I've done throughout my entire professional career. The defiant tone has not stopped the flood of calls for his res resignation. Representative Jerry Nadler has become the latest and most influential New York politician to call for Adams to resign, pointing to, quote, questions of whether the mayor can continue to effectively lead our city as mayor at this time. My belief is that the mayor has lost the ability to effectively lead the city of New York, and therefore he must resign. We should all remember that many of the politicians involved might have other motives for calling for his resignation, such as being close political allies with people who plan on running for mayor in 2025. That doesn't mean they don't believe he should resign. It doesn't even mean that they wouldn't have called for his resignation anyway. It's just something worth remembering. Another thing worth acknowledging is that Adams might find allies in seemingly odd places. Adams will likely get Republican support, not because they actually care about his position, but because the mayor's indictment further undercuts one of their narratives. So they'll likely lean into some perceived conflict between Adams and Biden. The Republican Party has been claiming that the Biden administration has weaponized DOJ against Republicans. The mayor's indictment continues the trend of that narrative being undercut. When it comes to the idea that Biden is using the DOJ to go after his Republicans or political enemies, Eric Adams, Hunter Biden, Henry Cuellar, T.J. Cox, Andrew Gillum, Michael Madigan, and Bob Menendez would all like a word. And I'm sure I missed some names that would like to be invited to the Zoom meeting about how ridiculously wrong the GOP talking point is. The other thing to remember is that New York City politics is an interconnected mess. Expect a lot more developments as this moves forward. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.